Well, badass is the number one word that people <laughs> say to me. You know, oh, that's badass, man. You're badass, man. That's badass. It's like, all right, badass. Um, I'm not really sure what a badass is, you know. Uh, I think they mean willing to endure, you know, like tough as nails kind of thing. But instead it comes out badass. It's like, whatever, a badass, okay. <laughs> When they gave me my doctorate, I still didn't have my speech, but it was time for me to get up and make it. So I started with a song because if you start with a prayer, then all the right things will follow. So. Nga, nga, nga. Supula no ngaloma. Nga, 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 tu pash, eng mawish, mila yachlo, nga, nga, nga. But there's nothing I love more than my homelands, which I live far from. I was in the hills, and I saw a coyote just wandering. And it, it looked so forlorn, and I felt like me in my homelands, you know, searching for my tribe, searching for my people. And uh, it just seemed so sad. So when I think about that, and I sing that song, I can feel the wind in Southern California, you know, the Santa Anas come in and it's like someone's turned on a heater with a large fan. And you're standing in the middle of all of your sacred plants, all of the medicine plants and the food plants and the world just walks by you and um, they don't take notice. By the world, I mean the ants, the deer, the, the skunks, the coyotes. They don't take notice. They just, you know, you're just part of the scene. So it just makes me feel like I'm home. I was talking to an elder and um, we were talking about people and what they know about their own selves and cultures and all. And this old man said that, um, he said that the people today are like detached seaweed. And I mean, I think I was told this like 60 something years ago. And it's still every day in my head that I don't want to be detached seaweed. You know? And I don't want others to be detached seaweed. I'd say the majority of people are lost, you know, because you're supposed to be an independent. Just the thought of it, you know, they go west, young man, and do good things, and it's all about the individual succeeding. And then the idea of success, that makes people lonely. But it just separates us. And of course, they never fill that thing that you need, which is really community and one another and relationships and a relationship with the planet, relationship with space, relationship with all things. What makes us lost is we've lost each other. We have been dismembered for so long that it's time to remember We need to come together in order for those memories that we're looking for. Because they're village memories and you don't get them individually. You know, we have to remember in order to, to put ourselves back together again. I 
This was put on by Keone Nunez, and it goes all the way to, I'm trying to see where, about here. And it, in Hawaiian, it's called makapo, and it means, the word literally means blind, but it means, um, spiritually, it means one who can see what others cannot. I think what I see in other people is this bright and shiny, unadulterated light. And that's where all my friends and family go, oh, you need some filters. It's not all light, you know? But that's what I see. Even in people I really don't like, I still see that light. Some people can only see ugly. And I, I maybe because I've looked through a an eye hole in my camera since I was eight and a half, nine years old, but um, I just see everything as beautiful. Everything. If it's got the light, right lighting. <laughs> Everything's beautiful. People are beautiful. Plants, everything is beautiful. Death is beautiful. Life is beautiful. Beauty is always right there, sitting right next to ugly. And, um, that's what I've always seen. That's what I love about people. Like many, many natives in the Americas, we consider ourselves star people. In my opinion, our journey is the star journey. Yeah, all of it. The thing that I hold on to with the science is, is that they say that we are comprised of some 90-some percent of stardust. Or we're comprised of the same things that, comprise, that are found in space. We, we are basically space, little water bags, you know, um, flesh water bags, but the stuff that we are made of, you can go out and find it anywhere in space. So how can we be disconnected? How can we not be apart, you know? if if we're comprised of this, it's, it's a lot of ignoring of reality. I do believe that we're all one family. At the Cosmic Serpent Conference, this scientist, he kept saying, oh, you indigenous people hurt my head. So I asked him, I said, well, what planet are you from? He said, Earth. I said, well, so am I. Doesn't that make us both indigenous to Earth? And he said, well, yeah. And I said, well, um, we have our differences, but we are all the same people. Now, I don't want to have your religion. I, you don't want to have mine, you know, and that's not what all being one is to me. Being one is that underneath, we are all one. My child hurts its foot, the child cries, I cry, we fix it up. And if that happens on the other side of the planet, I don't think that anyone is going to act any differently. They are going to care for that child. How is that not being the same? We don't, it's not like we act bizarrely in, in, in uh, the same instances. We act exactly the same. I don't have to dance your dance. I don't have to sing your song in order to be you, you know, and be a part. Everybody's needed in that web of life. If we look at the path, we do not see the sky. We are earth people on a spiritual journey to the stars. Our earth walk is to look within, to know who we are, to see that we are connected to all things, that there is no separation only in the mind.
Thanks for watching our film. Every story we've made is possible thanks to the support of our patrons. And if you'd like to continue to support us to make stories that explore the infinite beauty of being human, sign up on Patreon. Thanks.